Okay, so a couple quick notes on what we've been covering the past couple of days. We've looked at mainly David and Goliath. Um, super A famous story and B important story, just kind of learning the background of David and how he becomes this great king for the Israelites. Um, one thing that is extremely noted about David is his faith in God. Um, we even see that before he does the whole slingshot thing, he works for Saul um, as as like his his singer, like that calms him down, right? He has his lyre and he plays for him. Um, but a lot of these things he is saying are his psalms, aka like the book psalms, um, which are these praises to God. Um, the story of David and Goliath really talks about trust, trusting in God. David is this tall, he's a little boy, and Goliath is like this huge giant who's like got, you know, <laughs> guns up to here, well, like muscles up to here, and he's just an impressive dude. And David believes with the help of God that he will defeat the Israelites' enemies. And he does. Um, so it's all about, you know, trusting God no matter what the situation is, which is super, like, way easier said than done, right? I'm sure we've all been in situations where, like, you're like, well, I want to trust God, but like, oh my gosh, like, this is so scary or nerve wracking. And, and I don't know, I mean, it's, I just feel like worrying because I don't know how this is going to turn out good. Um, you might even be thinking about the situation now that we're in um, with the COVID-19 and the quarantine. Um, maybe someone you know has COVID-19. Um, maybe just hearing all the statistics about it and what's going on is making you nervous. Um, so I feel like this is like a perfect time to kind of be reminding ourselves that, you know, God's in control of everything. He has everything in his hands um, and he will protect us. He will have his hands over us and he will do what is the best for us. Um, so we need to trust in him and know that his way is the best way. Again, super like way easier said than done. Um, I struggle with that all the time. I don't think I know one Christian that doesn't always, doesn't ever like completely trust God. We always have moments where we struggle with that. We worry, we fear things, um, but that's because we're human. We're sinful. Um, as Christians, our our walk, our, how we strive to be more like Christ is, is striving to completely trust God. Um, just know that God's there for you. He listens to you. Um, he's going to help you get through anything. I, I have this weird saying, and it's, it's, it's a little rough, but um, the idea is that like, life with God may suck, right? Because as a Christian, you get persecuted. Um, you don't necessarily fit in. You're different from the world. Um, the devil's like kind of always on his prowl and and puts things in your life to make your life difficult. Um, so life with God may suck, but life without God is impossible because getting through things without knowing that it doesn't matter, all this stuff, crap in the world doesn't matter because we have a God who's bigger than that and he will help us get through it and bring us um, to heaven with us when our fight is done. That just, I mean, that gives you a reason to live and keep pushing around day to day. So I want you to just keep that in mind um, as you go through this week and maybe this tough time for you. 